Big wheels rolling, big wheels rolling, moving on. Big wheels rolling, gotta keep them going. Big wheels rolling, moving on. The white line is the lifeline to a nation. And men like Will and Sonny make it move. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is the 3rd of October. Yes, it is uh, Saturday morning, and I just woke up. I'm in Ma Mean. I had my coffee, but uh, I went and shake the truck stop, and I want to thank Jerry Ott for this as well, because I saw him make uh, mashed potatoes by using this item here. But it's it's uh, a thing. This it is it's good for soups. Oh. Let's go to the English side of it. <laughs> uh, great for soups and, and, and coffee and different things like that. <coughs> Heat water. And I got some instant oatmeal. So let's see if this thing really works. Plug it in the 12 volts. Supposed to have hot water. We'll be right. Yep. We got it on. And it's heating water. Yeah, because I got Roman soup. Sorry about that, guys. I got Roman soups in here, too. And I mean, yeah, you can go inside a truck stop and get hot water. But uh, if I can just make my own hot water. Uh, and you're not, let's say you can be at a customer or something and you're parked there until the next day, I can make my own water. The secret though, you got to have water. <laughs> uh, but we're going to have us some. Now, I'm going to stop at Walmart later and get some regular oatmeal. But I bought a couple of these at the Pilot. But it's oatmeal that gets hot I'll pour that in there and we'll have some oatmeal I got two of them so. but anyway hey stick around our day is just getting started oh yeah and we have our breakfast oh yeah that thing works beautiful yes it does it it, it didn't take long that water started boiling so we got us some oatmeal we're having breakfast this morning and I think later I'm gonna go to Walmart and uh, I like pork steaks. I like steak, or um, I like pork. I, I don't. <laughs> you guys will eventually notice that I, I really do like pork. But I'm gonna go to Walmart here in a bit, and I'm gonna get some pork steaks. I'm gonna fire up the barbecue grill. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, somebody told me uh, hickory wood or hickory chips or something like that. But I just got charcoal. But we're gonna use the charcoal grill to to cook. So it's gonna be going be a, a good day. As you can tell, I'm in no hurry. Uh, we're not under a load. Uh, and we kind of, well, the weekend is ours a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to be moving to or uh, Sunday or Monday. But uh, as soon as we get done with this oatmeal, though, we're headed to Kankakee. Because i got to get some stuff out of that truck. And that's the Walmart that I'm hitting. So we'll be right back. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a very super good morning. Yes, it is. It's Saturday morning. Oh, yeah. We are actually on our way to Kankakee now. We're in Maumean. And we're on our way to Kankakee. We're, we ain't doing nothing except for really dropping this wagon. And we're going to stop by Walmart first. Because I am planning on cooking on my barbecue grill today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys remember I got one of them in here. And uh, as much as I like regular steak, I like pork. And you guys know that. I'm sure you do by now. And uh, I love pork steaks. Oh, I love pork steaks. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, pork steaks came to take me back in my younger days because mom cooked a lot of pork steak because my dad liked pork and two pork steak is pretty tender but you do have to make sure it's cooked through you know which ain't, ain't no problem but uh we're gonna fire up this grill today and we're gonna have us some pork steak or a pork steak i can't eat more than one because you know they're pretty good size 
and uh, I bought something today and uh, this thing actually heats water and uh, got the idea and you guys saw it on the earlier clip but I got the idea from Jerry Ott because he makes uh, instant mashed potatoes and I like instant mashed potatoes and uh, he shows that he has this thing it looks like a thermos and uh, he puts water in it and I tell you what I made my oatmeal with that and that water actually does boil inside that thing and it didn't take long and that's how I made my oatmeal this morning but I'm gonna get me some uh, more instant oatmeal because uh, I think I can start having oatmeal in the morning and you know I got them red bud potatoes in here and uh, I boil them and it's almost like a baked potato in a way you got the skin on it and that and like last night now I didn't have no butter or sour cream I had to go inside the truck stop and I asked the uh, restaurant if I can have some butter and sour cream they didn't even charge me for it so thank you their uh, iron skillet because I was able to put that on them two potatoes you know kind of break them up and put some salt and pepper butter sour cream and all that red stuff you guys saw that was ketchup I like ketchup on my baked potatoes <laughs> I really do but I gotta get some ketchup and I gotta get some oatmeal and I wanna get some sour cream and butter because I got more potatoes in the future get a couple pork steaks I'll probably cook one today and well, tomorrow's Sunday so I'll probably cook another one on the grill and I'm gonna get some of them coffee Folger bags now if you guys know what you know what a tea bag looks like well they actually got coffee that is actually in a bag like like a tea bag and uh, if you got hot water and you pour that hot water in a cup uh, you put one of them coffee bags in uh, the hot water. It's just like a, a fresh brewed cup of coffee. And I'm getting that for emergencies. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I get somewhere, because I think one time I woke up and I didn't fill up my thermos because I didn't think I was going to be there all night. So I'm going to get that for emergency because now I can actually boil water in here. And I, I mean, I could do it with the Burton stove, but uh, I don't want to use the Burton every time I turn around because I, don't, I want it to last me, right? That's mainly to cook my food, you know. But this thing will actually boil water, and it boils it fairly quick. Now I can have some hot coffee. Just brew it, you know, just pour that hot water and open up one of them little coffee bag I think it's a great idea oh yeah I'm gonna get some milk I'm gonna get me a half a gallon of milk because again when I make that oatmeal now this morning I pretty much had it just the way it was but I like to put butter in it melt the butter in there put a little bit of milk in there oh yeah I'm gonna get me some peanut butter and some jelly Better move over for the big truck. He coming off. See them cars? Aren't even trying to move out of his way. Let's see? How rude. But anyway, let's get ourselves over to Walmart. I know you guys been in Walmart a million times with me, but we're going to show you Walmart once again. So hang tight. We'll be there. Ready, we're over here by the Walmart. We're in Kankakee. Big Jerry said this Walmart to him is a little scuzzy, but it's the easiest one for a truck to pull into because you know a lot of them Walmarts they got them grass islands and all them trees and it's kind of hard to maneuver a truck around all that you know but this has got a wide open front and it is so easy to get a truck in there 
I don't know. I, I don't. I, to me, all Walmarts are about the same. Although, there are a few that I have been in. They're not super Walmarts yet. They're kind of like the small. They, they got a little bit of food and stuff in them, but they're mainly, what, clothing and jewelry and toys and stuff like that, you know. But, uh, to me, all the super Walmarts about the same, you know. I don't know. Probably the only thing that would make this guzzy if somebody didn't like truckers, you know. And, and what I mean by that is, oh, look, look at all these trucks, man. What, you know. <laughs> and I'm not saying that Big Jerry thinks like that, but that's probably what a lot of people do think, you know. I gotta go that way, people. You gonna let me make my turn? <laughs> Look at that basket. It's out there in the wide open. I think I'll do them a favor. There's two of them out here where the trucks are. Why don't them drivers take them baskets back up front? We don't like, I don't like Walmart's kicking us out because drivers aren't uh, giving it respect. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, anytime I see trash out in the middle of nowhere, I try to, uh, they, oh, okay, I thought they were getting ready to paint lines over there, man, <laughs> but I think I'll take them two baskets up there, anyway, we'll be right back, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take these two baskets, because see, even if I just put them in one of them things, I don't want them to think, you know, check these drivers out, they don't care about nothing, I'm gonna wheel two of them. Yeah, there's two of them on here. So whenever I do my shopping here, I do take my baskets into the uh, cart thing. You know, I don't have to take them all the way in, but I just don't want them to say, uh, I don't like it when Walmart kicks us out, you know. Well, good luck trying to get them together though, huh? There we go. More than one way to skin a cat, right? No matter of speaking, I don't skin cats, I'm just saying. Yeah, there's one guy right there. He's collecting them all. appreciate you letting us park here. I figure I better get these because I didn't want you. I know they take them out there and they leave them, you know. But there you go. Thank you very much. You betcha. Thank you, sir. Yeah, see, I feel good about myself. Yeah. Hey, drivers, if you go to a Walmart and you're going to do shopping, obviously you got to park, you know, way away from everything. But if you're going to take a basket, Put that basket somewhere where, you know, they don't have to walk so far to go get them. Not only that, but that one was right there in the roadway, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it just takes a few minutes. You don't want a Walmart to kick you out or kick all the drivers out. One bad driver can really ruin it for everybody. Anyway, let's go inside. I got to get some stuff. We'll be right yeah, see, whenever I'm shopping for doggy treats, I want to know where that stuff come from. Produced in Clinton, Iowa. And Dunkirk, Dunkirk New York. Alright, you know what that means? This did not come from China. Alright, good deal. Doggy treats. Bacon bits. It's got peanut butter and bacon. Hey, you know what? That sounds good enough for me. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to go to the food now. Oh yeah. I got their dog food. I got their doggy treats. Brussels sprouts. I really do. And I like... Yeah, get some of this. Some of this. And I love Brussels sprouts. 
Right there they are guys, port steaks. But I don't need a whole, wait right there, port steak. Yeah, that's only got two in it. Yep, pork steaks. Yeah, tonight is pork steaks on the grill. I'm not going to get no more meat though. That's all I need as far as in the meat. But I need some uh, mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. 134. Oh, what's that? Ketchup, Bill Monte ketchup. That's good enough for me. Ketchup, ketchup. That's always been my opinion. I need potatoes. But we're gonna do... I need mashed potatoes. Where's the mashed potatoes? I think that would be better than buying. You see, this is. Well, I think this would be best. You see, usually I buy these cups, but they're a dollar a piece. Get a big box for three. Oh wait, uh, Idaho mashed potato. Same thing for a dollar seventy-two box. A dollar for one cup. Yeah, I got to get butter though and milk probably, but I'm gonna get that anyway. Well, we're done shopping. And I'm taking my basket back over here. Practice what I preach, right? But we're getting the grill going. Oh yeah. We're gonna have pork steaks, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, uh, potatoes, and a big old pork steak. Oh yeah. We're gonna eat. We're gonna get them coals hot though before we start cooking. Oh yeah. And we're all doing it right here at the yard. Beside my truck. As you guys can see, there's no restaurants. There's no stores. There's nothing here but a gravel parking lot, a locked building. But we got food in our in our truck. Oh yeah. And Pooh Bear and Jake is running around here somewhere. They were back there. Where you guys go? Huh? Where did my doggies go? Where did my doggies go? Woohoo! <laughs> There's not any place they can really go to. Oh, there they are. They're behind they're behind the trailers. That's where they are. Yep, that's where they are. Ah, there's Jake. Why are you having fun? Yeah, they can run, they can run and run. I might see a big Jerry might want to join me. He may not though, because he you know he's not feeling all that well. But he might. We can give him a call and see. And put him a porch steak on if he wanted one. And if he does it, it's not because he's not friendly. It's just, you know, he just don't feel like doing stuff. Some days, I, I noticed last weekend when I was at his house, or the last five days, one day he'd be ambitious and just wanted to do everything. And then another day he'd be kind of, oh, you know. But I understand it's the cancer and it's the chemo. And I don't criticize, not a bit. If he feels like he can do something, he'll do it. If he doesn't, he won't. But, you know. Hey, hey, don't do that. You know what he's doing? He's getting on this gravel and just, don't do that. You'll drag that into the bed, goofball. I got an air hose in the truck. Hey, I'll use that air hose on you. I'll get that dust off of you. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna let that get hot. We'll be right back. All right, we got the grill getting hot. We're having broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Oh yes, I do. And what we're gonna do is let this cook. 
And we're going to have mashed potatoes. That's what we're going to have. God, I'm excited. We'll be right. See, these are the coffees I was talking about. Coffee uh, singles. And uh, it comes in like a, a tea bag. But it's in its own fresh sealed bag. And you rip that open. And you put that in a cup with hot water. And you have hot coffee. And it actually literally tastes like you just put it in a took it from a coffee maker yeah freshly brewed coffee one bag at a time and it's medium I got it medium but you can get it mild medium mid dark and dark yeah if you just want a cup of coffee in the morning you don't want to make a whole pot and you just want a just one cup of coffee there's your uh, there's your uh, thing right there there's 19 single bags in one box all right we got it on there and we're gonna cover it up a little bit and let it start cooking. Oh yeah, pork steak is on. The vegetables are cooking. The next thing I gotta do, y'all, is I gotta get my water hot, but that won't take long. Getting the water hot won't take long. That's for my potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, and we got the butter and we got the milk. So, oh yeah, we'll be right back. Well guys, the poor steak is done. We're just waiting for the other stuff to get done. Go sit down, Jake. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 There it is, guys. There's the food. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's not as good as most, but I guarantee it's so good making my mouth water that poor steak was so big I had to cut it in half I eat this half then I can grab the other half <laughs> we'll be right back guys it's time to eat guys we're gonna call it done for today yes we are we're at the Kankakee yard we got our bellies full and uh, I think we're gonna go to bed kind of early tonight yeah I got the computer up I'm getting ready to render a video oh yeah I just had my, just boiled me some coffee uh, in that thing. And uh, there it is right there, nice and hot. Oh yeah, we kind of cleaned up everything back there. Still got a few things on my bed, but oh yeah. Anyway, we are done for the day. Absolutely done. And uh, we're going to go to bed early tonight. I want to get me a good night's sleep. I didn't really do nothing with the other truck. Except for I got my, because I left my charcoal in that truck. So I got my charcoal and my kingpin puller. I got the doggy leash. Now tomorrow morning I'm actually going to uh, get in there and clean. And see if I didn't leave anything else. And uh, Big Jerry told me he uh, will probably come over here and see me tomorrow. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start cooking in my truck. I'm, I'm just going to stop being lazy about the fact. And uh, I think Rudy told me that... Uh, he said, I bet you won't do it all the time because you'll get tired of it. But, you know, at one time, I used to cook in my truck all the time. I mean, I think I said it already, but you go back into my archives. And when I drove for Ed, I, I cooked almost every day in that truck. Uh, the only time I didn't really cook if I bumped into somebody or, you know. Uh, in that case, you know, yeah, I would go inside a truck stop and eat, you know. But uh, just for myself... I mean, what makes that Burton oven really nice, and I know I, I, it may seem like I'm, I'm talking a lot about it, but, you know, it ain't like you're really uh, over a flame in a, in a frying pan, you know, and you got to babysit it, you know. You can put your stuff in it, and you can put your meat in it, your, your whole potatoes, and, uh, and just let it go, you know, for a couple, two, three hours. And, uh, and it gets up to 350 degrees, just like a regular oven. Just like if you opened up your oven and, and, and you wanted to bake something. And that's exactly what this thing does. And you just leave it alone for two, three hours. And the meat is going to be done. The potatoes are going to be soft. And uh, you can take a can of vegetable and drain the juice out of it and just put that in there. Just dump that right over it. it you know, my dad used to take a plate and he'd put all the food on the plate. And then my dad would mix it all up, you know. And my mom always said, man, that looks like a mess. And my dad always had a saying that uh, it all goes down 
uh, the same pipe and it's all going to get mixed up in your gut anyway. So you're kind of helping. <laughs> but you know, you just put your vegetables over it, close it up for about a half hour, 40 minutes, and that's hot. And then it's time to eat. And it's like a potluck, you know, you just open it up, take it out of that pan, put it on a plate, salt and pepper, if you got bread and butter and something to drink, and you actually got you a pretty decent supper. And uh, what makes that nice is you take that pan out of that Burton oven, and if there is still anything in it, you can, I got freezer bags, you know, the, the Ziploc, I can put what's left, put it in there, zip it up, let it cool down, and then put it in the cooler, and then let's say tomorrow I want lunch, and I want leftover. I take that, put it in a bowl, run inside the truck stop, put it in the microwave for 30, 45 seconds, and it's hot again. And I could take it out to the truck, and I'm eating leftover, but it's just as good. You know, they, the old saying, leftover sometimes just as good as the day you made it, because, uh, the, the, like spaghetti and chili and that, because the seasoning oversets. You know what I mean? But uh, but you take it inside the truck stop, nook it up. Hey, I'm having a little bit of what I had last night for supper. And it's it, it makes it a, a, a good lunch, you know. But, um. Uh, but I, I'm going to start cooking in my truck. I, I really am. I'm going to start doing it. And uh, I think it was Barclay or somebody said uh, Ponzi, his, the name of his is uh, uh, Catwalk. Uh, catwalk cooking or something like that. And, yeah, dashboard. Yeah, I got that now. Dashboard. That's dashboard uh, menu. But, uh, I, I love cooking, though. I, I really do. I love cooking. I don't think I love cooking if I had a whole bunch of people, but just for myself, I love to cook. And, uh, I bought some oatmeal, instant oatmeal, obvious, but I can I can heat water and I can have a bowl of oatmeal. Um, now I can make coffee. Oh, that's good, and it don't matter if I I don't have a coffee maker because I I don't have an inverter in here, but uh, that thing will actually make hot water, and uh, I can have a good cup of coffee. I don't have to worry about, ah, shoot, I forgot coffee. I'm still going to have a cup of coffee. Um, but, uh, anyway, enough of that. Thank you guys for following along with us. Uh, it's just our daily life. It's whatever we're doing today. And whatever I'm showing you guys is what we're actually doing. And, uh, and then the next day, because I'm not seven days, five days. I'm just, uh, what I do today is up and you'll see it tomorrow. You'll see, uh, like, all the pictures I've taken on Facebook and that. Well, yeah, I got a video, you know, and you'll see that on video. So, but anyway, I want to thank you guys for following along. It's really great. And, uh, thank you for your support. Uh, the Trucker Jukebox has now been on YouTube for a little more than two years. And we're going to continue staying on it. And uh, I, I'm dedicated to it. Uh, I get the cameras out every day and show you guys something. And I want to thank you guys for following. I really do. And uh, that being said, you guys have a good night. Super good night. God bless. We'll see you come 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Bye. Hey, Pooh.